Hi, I'm Kevin O'Brien, the Watershed Coordinator with the Illinois Valley Watershed Council. We work with landowners out here in the Illinois River Salmon Stronghold to improve watershed function and try and save species like we're going to do today, the coho salmon. We've been informed by one of our directors that there's a pool with a, an educated estimate of about a thousand coho salmon that are stranded in a remnant pool off of Deer Creek, which is a major tributary of the Illinois River. And we're going out there right now to help Carl. So here we are at Carl Summers' place today. And Carl, what are we going to do? How are you doing today? Oh, doing okay. Uh, we're going to go out and uh, try to rescue a bunch of coho salmon. Well, here's the gear. It's, it's, uh, it's very high-tech stuff. We've got a nasty, nasty old ice chest here that'll be about half full of water so it doesn't slop out. I've got an aerator that will hook up to this battery and that aerates the water to keep them alive. We've got a thermometer here. I have another cooler here with ice bottles in it. We'll put ice bottles in there and cool the water down before okay. we put... And then we just use these little nets and buckets and we take them out and we release them and I have to count them uh, and I have to identify We'll go ahead and, and get going on up the road right. here. We'll load up the, the nets. I've got several different kinds of nets. Not that bothered by us either. Well, they really don't have much choice, really. I mean, they're not throwing yeah. around, but they really don't have. Any they don't have anywhere to really go. I use several different kinds of nets. It depends on the on the uh, the location. If it's a fairly big, wide pool, I use the big black seine, which I actually found in the creek uh, a couple of miles upstream. So there they are, hundreds of juvenile coho that have been trapped in this remnant pool. And this little fellow looks like he's struggling now, but he's been saved from a potentially really cruel death. But we do release him in Upper Deer Creek where the water stays and stays cool and stays running. And then in the fall when the rains come, hopefully it'll flush him right back out to the ocean. We have to keep the temperature in the tank within three degrees of where we take the fish out of the stream. And uh, so if this is warmer, by five degrees or so. I have another cooler here with ice bottles in it. We'll put ice bottles in there and cool the water down before okay. we put the fish in. How the time they've gotten this far, I mean, if they've survived this long in that little pool and in that right. creek, they, yes. they're pretty tough. And when you get down to it, they figure that what? I've heard that statistics, only two or three out of every thousand eggs survive. Yeah, it's not even a percent, yeah. I don't think. So, with this many, you can, how many you think spawned in this creek? These fish now that we collected and, and in effect saved or right, in the process. Right. And as we release them, you'd mentioned earlier about the need to identify. Uh, and the par marks. Uh, right. You can the see dark how marks. long and narrow they are. Right. On a coho, the par marks, you could fit one in between them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They're far and they're apart. In the steelhead, they're more rounded and you couldn't fit one in between. Well, right. thanks again you for the day. Yeah. It's always a pleasure working with you, and thanks for your commitment to what we do here yep. in the Illinois Valley. I have fun doing it. I, I know enjoy you it. Do. I enjoy it. Appreciate it. Play in the creek every once in a while. We'll do her again. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. All right. Back in my office now. Thanks for coming out in the field with us today. Uh, what you saw today really is the last resort. We really don't try and focus our projects and our energies on fish rescue and salvage. What we do have is a bunch of projects going on right now throughout the watershed and we encourage you strongly to please visit our website to see how you might participate with us and contribute. Thanks so much again.